release of his power and not just the release an authority authority means somebody who is in charge who somebody who takes command and today hear me child of god today is the second week and i know your story is about changing Amen. your story is about changing you are back getting to the dimension the Lord is saying you this is where you are going I said to some of you yesterday or so I said what belong to you will remain in the hand of the devil if power is not released and that is why power is meant to be released on you what belong to you will remain in the hand of the devil if power is not released in Genesis 32, 28, we're told of how Jacob wrestled. The scripture was talking about Genesis 32, 28. How he wrestled with God. And the scripture said, The name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has that what? Somebody say power. Has that power Genesis 32, 28. Has that power with God and with men? And finally said, and has prevailed. So what belongs to you will not be released until power is involved. This was Jacob. Destiny had a lot for him. Prophecies were given before his birth. This is somebody God said, Jacob have I love. Esau have I hated. Therefore, Jacob ought not to have struggled. Jacob ought not to have gone through those pains he went through. But destiny was not giving the man the privilege to assess what the Lord has for him. And then the Bible said he couldn't hold it because he knew for him there are certain things inside him that are crying for expression, crying for manifestation. But he's not seeing it come to pass. And this is God telling me the love he had for me and no evidence to it. The man wrestled. And they fought and they fought and fought and fought. And then the angel told him, There is power in you. This month I came to let somebody know in today's service, there is power in you. Yeah. Even if there was no power before you came, because you are in this service and you are in this place, power is released already. Yeah. I'm not hearing your amen. I said, Power is released. Yeah. Authority is released. Yeah. Can I hear your amen? Lord, yes. And I told you yesterday, I said, power brings freedom. The children of Israel left Egypt with a very strong hand. A hand stretched hand. That is how they left. Power brings freedom. Without the power, their bondage would have continued. Nobody would have heard about their freedom. And that's the reason many of us are going through certain limitations. Not because Satan is powerful. But we need certain power to assess our destiny. Today is the day. That power is coming upon you. I said that power is coming upon you. That testimony that has long overdue. This is a set time for that manifestation. If only your eye can see. Heaven is committed to release that grace upon you. And you shall be committed in the name of Jesus. The Bible was talking about. He ruled by his power. In Psalm 66 verse 7, he ruled by his power. Power is a key. Power is a key to rulership. With that power, you can't find yourself ruled. He ruled by his power forever. His eyes behold the nation. Let not the rebellion exalt themselves. So if God is not in charge of rulership, the rebellion would have exalted themselves against God. So power shows who God is. And that is what God has given to you and I. Go and take dominion. This month, this week, whatever has been suppressing and oppressing you, you are overturning them. When you keep to the word of prophecies released from this kind of altar, and knowing what is this altar carry, that thing that you have been looking so big will become so small. And I see somebody overtaking where they least expect it to overtake. I see somebody overcoming where they least expect it to overcome. Whatever has become a mess, God shall convert it to a message. If I'm hearing you, can I hear you? Amen. Get yourself ready what heaven is set to do. That devil that doesn't want you to go too far, 
that Satan must let you go. That power must let you go. That situation must surrender for you. Can I hear your amen? Lordes! In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, where we are handling this morning, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, still on the release of power and authority for extra large. The release of power and authority for extra large. 1 Corinthians, verse 6 and 14. And he said, And God had both raised up the Lord, and we also raised up us by his own. How many of you want God to raise you down? And God had both raised up the Lord, and we also raised up us by his own power. Somebody shout power. power. In Philippians 3.10, Apostle Paul was saying that I may know him and the power of his what? And the power of his resurrection. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. So when we are talking about that God may raise him, that God have raised him up and raised us up also together, it means you are not meant to be where you are. But you may have been there. But in this month, the grace of God is sufficient. And how does it work? He works by the virtue of power. And that is what heaven is committed to release. And I know somebody is here. That thing that you have been looking for heaven to bring to pass, I say be connected, highly, be ardently committed this month. You will see it come to pass without struggle. You will see it manifest to you without struggle. If you are that person, can I hear it? When he said resurrect, what does it mean to resurrect? It means to come back. To come back after which the enemy has thought he has finished you. Bringing back what the enemy thought you are not getting again. To come back from defeat. It means coming back from a setback that they have already concluded over you. That this person can no longer come out of this situation. This person cannot have this. And that is what heaven is said to do. And what does it mean when he said resurrect? It means a new beginning when the devil has written you off. And I know in this month, the person who wants a new beginning, despite all the hard of situation or setback, that you want to see heaven manifest that proof. This is the month. This is the week. This is the day. I declare resurrection in every area of your life. I declare testimony in every area of your life. Life. I declare a comeback in every area of your life. Can I hear your amen, ladies? A new beginning. When man has been exhausted, man extremist is God's opportunity. When man has said, I can no longer come out of this situation, God said, I'm interested. This is the comeback. And that is why I said to you, this month is a different kind of month. When you get yourself excited and get connected to it, I tell you very soon, People will look at you. How did it happen? I saw you yesterday, some years ago. Nothing to write to me about you. But now it seems you are not a voice. Because God has added his power upon you. That person that has been suffering limitation. This month is your month of comeback. I said this month is your month of comeback. If you are that person, let me hear your amen. What does it mean when you talk of resurrection? He's talking about ruling the kingdom of God by power. Rule. In the kingdom by power you can't rule in this kingdom of god by just ordinary there is difference between people who go to church and people who carry the grace and carry the power the difference between a pastor talking and a pastor preaching the difference between somebody prophesying and nothing works and they want to say something and something works so you don't rule in the kingdom with ordinary voice you rule with the kingdom with authority you rule in the kingdom with power you rule in everything of your life. You rule with by power. And that is what this month is saying. That this is the month. Somebody who has no expect grace to come out suddenly. Will become a man and a woman of authority that the Lord has endowed. And this month I declare to you. That thing that is waving you about. You shall take possession of them. I said you shall take possession of them. Can I hear your amen? I said you shall take possession of them. Can I hear your amen? I say you shall take possession of them. In the name of Jesus. What does it mean? To resurrect. It means containing the powers of the forces of darkness. Containing the powers of the forces of darkness. 
containing the powers of the forces of darkness. And one of the forces of darkness, spirit of death. When power comes, death submits. When Jesus was saying, Oh grave, where is our victory? Oh death, where is our sting? Because he has gotten the power over the spirit of death. So resurrection is talking about something that has to do with having authority over a set power that's been oppression. Some of you, your, your case, marriage becomes a problem. Sometimes barrenness becomes you have done every test necessary should do. If they said this today, tomorrow they said another one. You have done everything. But you still see that nothing yet not done. Everything has been done. Yet the problem is still there. The power is still at work. But when power comes, that darkness that has been in charge, that darkness will suddenly surrender. Hear me, child of God, I release on you anything that look like an oppression, spirit of attack, demonic spell placed upon you. This month is your month of power. That thing that has been looking and staring at you as if you can't come out of it, this month is your month of power and authority. I release the release of power into your life. That thing that have called you for too long, this month it shall disappear suddenly. As I'm saying it now, I see somebody, God is working on your behalf. I said it shall disappear suddenly. If you are that person, can I hear your name? And get ready. Your testimony is very close. I say your testimony is very close. Your making a new testimony is very close. In the mighty name of Jesus. Containing the power of darkness. The Bible was talking in the book of Luke. How the disciples were sent out. And the scripture said they came back saying that even the devil submitted to us. Even Satan himself submitted. How they went out. And that is what this month is going to look like. What I've never submitted to you, it will submit at ease. What has never given up for you this month, I said they shall give up for you. What you least expected, the testimony I've never had this month is a new month. Get ready, somebody you are living here. Even in your dream, you'll be flying. Anything you do, there'll be a difference between you and others. If that looked like you, your amen should have shown it better. And that's what I told you, you have to be sensitive to this month. If you are not sensitive, you can't make sense out of it. So this month, heaven is committed to establish that testimony. Number four, what does it mean to resurrect? In number four, it means making a generational significance. In Acts chapter 10, verse 36, a generational significance. Acts 10, 36, the Bible was talking about the disciples of Jesus. Till today, what they made, the impact they made, still remain on ground. Even Jesus himself, when he went back to Galilee, the Bible said news went abroad with him. Jews followed him. When power comes upon you, you make a mark that nobody has ever made. When the power comes upon you, you that was very weak, weakly, that has nothing to offer, you become a voice to crowd, you become a voice to multitude. When power comes upon you, you that was reduced to nothing, you become the direction of people. Hear me this month. A David is a bad giving birth to your family. An Esther is a bad giving birth to your family. I don't know, but I know you are the one carrying it from today. That mark nobody has made in your time. Nobody has made in your, your family. In this new month, God will use you to make that mark. Whatever has become a shame before you, and you don't know how to overcome it, you have done everything you could do, you have so seen, you have done all your best, and the thing is still telling you, where is your God? Child of God, hear me. In this month, the story will change. I didn't hear you. I said in this month, the story will change. If only you can be connected. I said in this month, the story will change. There are so many of you that will come up and say, this month I had a miracle testimony that I never had before. That shall be your testimony. Many of you have become doubting Thomas. Who does not believe in miracle? This month you will not let have miracle. You will give people miracle. I'm not hearing. I said you will give others miracle. Can I hear you hear me louder? And that's what I say. You have to be sensitive. You have to be sensitive. Sensitive in the sense that thing that has become an issue. See it as nothing in this month. See it as nothing in this week. Before you know what, the thing has disappeared. 
I know many of you came here wanting pastor to pray for you, pastor to touch me. Only follow what this month carry. You will become a transformer to others' life. Get ready. Your miracle is ready, prepared. And I see you today. By the time you leave this place, all I shall see as an evidence that God has done something for you. God has done something for you. God has done something for you. Can I hear your amen louder? So power make you create a generational miracle. Somebody who is nothing, nobody talks about, nobody mind, nobody even look to. Become somebody overnight. That is what power does. Somebody get ready, I see the grace walking. I see you walking. And I see you running with speed. In the name of Jesus. Again, we have been saying different way how to assess, how to assess. Giving it that is not enough. Assessing it is a gateway. And one of them I said to assess. Sensitive. Someone say sensitive. In other words, you become very conscious of it. You know your family. You know your life. You know the impediment. You become conscious of it. I have tried other days. I have entered the pool for seven times. I have not seen anything. But this month is my own turn. When you become sensitive to that, you get it easy. But when you are not sensitive, you are just nothing. Nothing. You lose it. I connect you to grace. Receive that sensitivity. And be attracted to that greatness. Receive that sensitivity. Anywhere you enter this week, people will admire you as I've never admired you. Not a negative admiration, a positive one. You become the best chosen and celebrated and selected. And you'll be asking yourself, ah, who am I? What, what do I do to deserve this? It is not you. The mark of power has just entered into your life. Somebody shout power. Shout authority. I release it upon you in the name of Jesus. Power makes you reach where you are not supposed to reach. In Jeremiah 29 11, it was talking about the thought I have for you is a thought of good, not of evil, to bring you to what? To bring you to what? For I know the thought that I had think towards you, said the Lord, not of evil, a positive one, to bring you to an expected end. So power makes you reach your end. And what is the end? The end of what you want God to do. Not what Satan wish from you, but what you want God to do. I see you by this encounter. That wish you are looking out for as your end. To some, they want God to give them four children, they are okay. To some, five. To some, ten. If you need twenty, it's okay. Any number. To some, God, just give me house. Give me this. Give me that. He said, for I know the thought. Somebody said thought. God is not absent of what you are thinking. But he said, for the one I have for you, I know it. To bring you to an expected what? How many want to get to the expected end? Somebody say, I'm one of them. I remember one of the conditions I said, sensitive. In Acts 1 8, talking about the apostles, and the Bible said they went to witness both in Judea, Samaria, and almost every corner, utmost part of the earth, they went there. I said, one of the conditions you should not fail. Make sure one person for this month. You will just be shocked what I'm telling you. By the end, something will drop into you. And you will ask, how did this happen? Why? You went and evangelized one person for this one month. But ye shall receive power. What is the essence of the power without use? But ye shall receive power. After which the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witness unto me. But in your place of birth, where you are coming from, in the Judea, having going further, and even Samaria, you have to travel at. And up to the uttermost part, every corner, anyhow, anyway, reaching out to one person is one of the conditions. So in other words, if you see somebody and say, this one doesn't go to church, or he has backslidden, or he has not been coming, I need to follow this one until he finally comes to church. Until he finally comes back. That is what they say in the uttermost. So saying it, receiving it, does not guarantee. Every prophecy has a responsibility. A prophecy without responsibility becomes a parrot. And that doesn't carry proofs. 
So connect to it and say, this is what pastor said. Just look at testimonies now. Somebody said I paid my first fruit. And I was not knowing how I was going to pay it. But God gave me grace. I paid. And since after that time, financially everything changed. She is not the first person that testified first fruit. Others have been testifying. The question is, when the first fruit was preached, how many responded? So you don't get access to breakthrough by wish. You don't get access to breakthrough by saying amen, amen, I receive. If not, you will not know how, what it takes to keep it. You have to guide it. You have to put a condition. This is what I have paid for. I have sought for society. You become conscious of it. So this month, make it a mark. Either Sunday or Wednesday. And he said, all over Samaria, in all most parts, in every corner, be one to say, I don't need crowd. Me and my family. Pastor said we should go out. Thank God we have a mega crusade coming up. What am I doing to make the crusade different? What area will I add? Which area will I come in? Which role will I play? There is something you must. You don't get power by wish. As I'm saying it, the heaven is declaring it, distributing it. But for you to have it maintained inside you, these are the conditions. What will I do in this coming crusade? What will I do in the area of this flyer or handbill, in any area or advance? Get ready, somebody. The power is already there. That thing that looks like an issue in your life is over. Amen. Somebody say the amen. amen. Now that you have said amen, there is something tied to it. And I know you are one of them that will obey first. As that sister testified of her first fruit, you are coming also to testify. I didn't, I say you are coming also to testify. And that which the enemy has been holding long in their hand against you. Hear me. This month, you shall find freedom from it. I say you will find freedom from it. Can I hear the amen for the last time? And finally, how do you assess power? You need to be very born again. Power does not come in a dirty vessel. Power only comes in a prepared holy vessel. A vessel that is spiritually connected. Not a vessel that when God connects you, you are disconnected. A vessel that is holy. A vessel that is pure in his heart. A vessel that is sincere to his God. Not a vessel who compromises. What we have today, we have a lot of crowd in the church, but very few people who doesn't compromise. I want to see that today's service. As the Lord said, there's a release of power. And nobody wants to miss it. And, but there's a vessel here. Who knows that what I am declaring since is not part. And it wants to be part. You are not born again. You want to be born and be part of this grace. Wherever you are, that vessel that wants that encounter, just stand up on your feet. Take a bold step. Just pray a short prayer for you. So that the declaration of today can clear something new. That you have been looking for. Coming to church is different from just clapping. In church there is power. There is authority. There is restoration. There is deliverance. God has brought you here to put something in your life. If only you are here to accept that grace. Take a bold step of it. And walk straight to the front. Tell God I want to be a vessel to encounter this power. As I can't fall. Wherever you are. Just find yourself to the front. And receive a new entity, a new life for the Holy Spirit to penetrate into you so that you will not be the person you used to be. God wants to give you power over the affliction in your family, the affliction in your foundation, the affliction in your attack, the things you see around you, some of you cannot have control over. He wants to give you power over them. As I'm counting, find yourself first at the front and say, Lord, I surrender to you. I want to come out of myself. I want to come out of my flesh. I want to come out of the ways and behavior and manner I believe in. Lord, help me to know you. Help me. I want to be a new person in you. As I count in now, take a step so that a new release of his power can settle your life. New release of his authority can be your life. I count to one now. Get yourself. Hurry up. I want to be a new person, Lord. A new vessel for you. A new one. A new one. I don't want to be a Miss Vettel. Two.
Hurry up, you are coming forward. say Holy Spirit make me a new vessel vessel that is pure like good a vessel that is accepted from you I'm not hearing you a vessel that is holy a changed vessel a purified vessel an acceptable vessel a vessel that is honest a vessel that wants to make heaven a vessel to be faithful a vessel accepted and choosing. Lord Jesus, I am surrendering myself to you. I want the release of your power and authority for extra large. Lord Jesus, I say bye-bye to anything that is bringing me down, fighting my spiritual life, fighting my spiritual connection, fighting my faith with you. Help me, Lord. I surrender. I want to know you. I want to follow you. I want to serve you all the days of my life in Jesus' mighty name. If you have prayed that prayer, I want to pray for you. Father, in John 1 12, you said it clear. For as many that come to you to then give power. This month, this week, that power that you have declared for them. That hiding demon darkness that have been around them, their life, or in their environment, by the encounter of coming to you, let that thing be exposed. And whatever has subjected or controlled their appetite against you, the power for them to be separated from it, let it come upon them. Make them your right man. Make them your choosing vessel. Make them your acceptable vessel. Make them to know you make them to make heaven that thing which they must stop for your light to shine in them give them the power to stop it let them not say they keep promising give them the grace to stop it have your way holy spirit for your deliverance for your mercy for bringing them to you in jesus mighty name now please those form given to you take your time fill them properly as soon as we close the service, I'm going to call you back and pray for you very shortly. Praise the Lord. So, feel them. As we close service, I'll collect them from you. Amen.